Today we are talking about an underrated gem from Martin's standard series. This is the 018 single O, single aught, whatever you want to call it. This is a very cool guitar, going to tell you all about it. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. New year, new subscriptions, and uh, check out our website, check out our podcast, check out all the stuff in the description below. We appreciate it. Happy New Year. Uh, you might have seen some videos that we've put out so far this year. Those are stragglers that we shot at the end of last year. This is the first official shoot of 2023 um, after the raucous party of 2022. I'm thinking it's going to be a good year for guitars, and it's starting off nice with a very cool guitar that... I have not seen in quite a long time. Um, I think it goes under the radar a little bit when people talk about Martin's standard series. Everybody's talking triple O18 and D18 when it comes to the 18 series, but there are several other options, one of which being the single O. There's a double O as well, a little bit bigger than this, a little bit smaller than a triple O, but this is as small as it gets in the 18 series and the standard series. Um, so this is single O, 18, spruce top, Mahogany back and sides, as denoted by 18. Um, comes with all the standard 18 appointments. Black binding, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, turtle sh uh, tortoiseshell pit guard. It's got uh, some open gear Grovers on the back. It is a shorter scale. It is 24.9 inches. But the nut width is a nice one and three quarter, my preferred. Um, and I think a lot of people's preferred. So you got a small guitar, but you still got the string spacing. Um, and this is just a guitar that's perfect for finger picking, songwriting, all that stuff. It is uh, kind of one of the nicer guitars of this size that you can get. A lot of times you get this small, you're getting into stuff that's maybe not as highly appointed, not nitrocellulose, not solid wood. Um, and this is a 14 fret. This is not like a 12 fret parlor style, but it is sort of in the same vein. If you're looking for something that's going to be parlor style, this might be a nice choice for you. Very, very simple guitar, but has a beautiful tone. Obviously, since it's all solid wood and since it's from Martin, even though it's small, it boasts a very large, warm tone. So I'm going to do a little something on it, a little picking, a little finger picking, so you guys can hear it. Here we go. 018, single 018, single aught, whatever you want to call it. Here we go.
there you have it, a little bit of a demo on the single O18 from Martin. Um, I did not mention, but this is scalloped X bracing in here. And I did mention at the very beginning that I think this is an underrated gem. I think there are a lot of underrated gems in Martin's catalog. A lot of times people come in, they ask for, pretty much it gets broken down to D28, HD28, D18, triple O28, or triple O18. Those are like the five that everybody's always looking for, but they make so many things that are kind of out of the box um, that have had an extremely long history in their manufacturing you know, lore. So you did see last year we had a 1940 018 that was a shade top. Amazing guitar, and it was really cool, even though I don't have that one here anymore. Um, it's cool to see like a new age representation of kind of what that guitar is, what it uh, is meant to do. It's a great finger picking guitar, nice kind of flat top blues sort of vibe, um, and I really enjoy it. I would recommend that if you're looking for your Martin guitar to kind of branch out of those classics that everybody wants. I mean, you know, there, there's other stuff in there that everybody likes, the HD35, D35, OM42, all the modern deluxe stuff. It's all out there, but within the normal standard series, there's a lot of stuff to kind of dig into and find um, that might suit your needs a little bit better. We have talked about the M36, sort of the Nashville secret weapon. That's another one. I mean, just go on Martin's site, dig through all this cool stuff that they have because there are a lot of historical models that are still in production. Um, hopefully this year, I'm kind of planning out to get some of those things that are a little out of the box. So hopefully we will bring you a lot of very cool Martin guitars this year, including some new customs. But for the time being, the 018 um, should not go overlooked. This is a fantastic guitar. I wanna hear what you think about it. If you think that there is a comparable uh, guitar from a different manufacturer. You know this is not a cheap guitar, but it's not the most expensive thing in the world. Um, so if you have alternatives, maybe stuff that you want to see it compared to, anything like that, we're happy to do it. Um, but yeah, I think it's a winner. If you're interested, you can find the information, all the specs, down to every little detail on alamomusic.com. Um, and please give us a call, email us, chat with us online. Any questions you have, we are happy to answer them. One more thing, it is a beautiful hard shell case that has a nice olive green plush interior. If you're buying it for the case, you're a crazy person, but it is a really nice case. So, single O18, I love this guitar. I hope you dig it as well. We will bring you a lot of cool stuff this year. Happy New Year, everybody. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.